decided to head out for evening paddle. The sky's just cleared up. again I'll go to park to do some more exploring camera one check camera two check camera three check I'm starting in the north end this time at access point 29 and I'm paddling on Kiosh Lake it was a little sketchy on the other side but now once I got on the other side of the railroad tracks I'm making my way to to here campsite number one for the night located on Mink Lake just south of Kiosk I'm doing a six-day trip in the backcountry this time I'm going from Kiosk Lake to Mouse and back my trip started yesterday when I stopped in in Huntsville and did a little walking around. After walking around the main street, it was off to Algonquin Outfitters to pick up my canoe that I was in. Once again, I like to use another pack boat. Once I loaded on my car, hooked it in, tightened things up, and then I was on the road heading north to Kiosh Lake. Sometimes the first day can be very exhausting and can be a race to your first campsite. But the Kiosh campsite has three campsites designated as jump off sites. So you can start your backcountry trip early in the morning. So I spend one night there and now the trip officially begins. I have six days in the backcountry. And I'm making my way to Mink Lake for campsite number one. I have two portages today, one 600 and one 400. The first one I think I can see in the distance coming up now, heading to Little Mink Lake. Looks like I see the yellow marker on the tree up there. Coming up, portage number one. Portage number one to Little Mink Lake. And here we are, first portage of the day to Little Mink. No hero today, I'll be double carrying, carrying this one. One done, now back for the commute. How cool does this forest look guys? Cutting across Little Mink Lake. A little bit of a shower now. Mother Nature is not too happy right now. What you gonna do? It's only a 400 meter portage. Shouldn't be too bad. And then the next lake, Mink Lake, is tonight's campsite. And it sounds like that's a good thing. Because the weather's getting pretty bad. You don't want to be on the water during this. Not too many times you're glad to be on a portage. But at least now I'm still moving. And it's not a good time to be on the water. So this isn't so bad. Two portages. White birch. Negative. Mink Lake. That's the one. Let's go. Let's go. I heard some cracking. I think the tree's coming down. Portage is all complete. Still rain now, still thunder. Just gonna sit under this makeshift tarp I made here. Add a few snacks for lunch. And we'll see how it goes. It's still only 12.30, we still have plenty of time. So if it's just raining, it'll be okay. But uh, just gotta wait for this uh, thunder and lightning. Okay, it's 
skies have cleared up a little bit. Still a little windy, but no thunder or lightning, so we're back on the water. And we're on Mink Lake and we're looking for a campsite. Let's go have a look at this place. Nice view. Complimentary coffee left over. This is why you got to make sure you thoroughly put out your fire after all that rain. It's still smoking. Fire one hour later. I haven't touched it. Still from the other people that left. There we go. One hour, that's it. Even with all that rain, started right up again. Looks like this is a pretty good site. Looks like I'm staying here. Now I just gotta do my camp chores and time to set up. Tent check, off to the bear hang. Bear hang ready, check. Swim done. All that's left is dinner, check. Let me show you guys what's on the menu for tonight. We're having fajitas. Fajitas. And here's the rest of all my meals for all the food that I brought for this trip. Most of the stuff I've dehydrated. Dehydrated chili, penne pasta, with a few berry desserts. Lasagna, artichoke pasta, some oil and fish crisp in case I catch some fish, popcorn, lunches, a bunch of granola bars, some crackers, and some packaged tuna. And for breakfast, oatmeal, dates, and some fruit bars, hot chocolate. That's the whole meal plan for this trip. I think that's going to be it for today. Put the food back up and now I'm going to sit down for a bit, relax, and I'll see you tomorrow. Day two on Mink Lake. I started off by heading down to the water and loading up the canoe to head out and do some early fishing. Good morning guys. Time to load up, head out, and try and do some fishing. Oh, Jesus. There's something in there. What is that? What are you doing in there? 
doing there, little buddy? Buddy, go on. Now we can try and hit him. It started to get a little bit windy and uh, white cap started to roll over. I made my way back to the campsite. Luckily the wind was coming straight on so I was able to maneuver my canoe so the bow was hitting waves right on. The water sure to get pretty rough. I just paddled a little bit to each little bay and cove and rested for a little bit and then continued on paddling hard to get through the big waves. Once I got back to camp I couldn't resist and I threw one more cast and I hooked into a little bass. The only thing I caught in the morning. I paddled all around the lake and caught nothing in the morning. First cast back here from the island. Nice little bass. I'm using this Woods Methanol Cooking Gel. All my meals are already cooked, the dehydrated meals or the oatmeal, all I need to do is heat up some water. So I thought I'd test out this. I figure I'd try that out and see how many uh, uses I can get out of it. But so far it seems to be working okay. I took it easy for the majority of the day and then I headed back out again in the afternoon to see if I could catch anything else. I hooked into something here. We got one on the line. Let's see what it is. Feels pretty good.
jump, don't jump. Oh. He's a big bass. <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> Check that one out. <laughs> He's a good one. <laughs> Holy Jesus. He's too big. I can't eat that whole thing. It'll just go to waste. He's going back. He's gone. Just turn the camera off. Give it back. How can I hit the shore? Then a little more rain started to pick up, so I headed back to camp to rehydrate some dinner. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Let's see what's on the menu today. Penne, dehydrated penne pasta with artichokes and dehydrated chicken and for dessert very crisp to head out for evening paddle. Sky's just cleared up. Man, look at that. That looks amazing. Starting to pack up here, get ready to head over to Mouse Lake for the next campsite. Got some water boiling here. We're warming up, getting ready to have my oatmeal. Had the game cam on last night. Seems like the only person I visited was, uh, it looked like a, another rabbit, probably looking for that little baby that was lost yesterday. So, looks like the conditions outside are perfectly calm. 
this once this mist clears up then we'll be able to paddle south on Link Lake on Portage 1165 Another portage 610 and we're staying on mouse. So I'm gonna finish packing up here and then I'll see you on the water. So long to that campsite and off to campsite number two on Mouse Lake with my own private beach. We've got excellent conditions. The water is perfectly calm. Should be a good day. <laughs> to the end of Mink, where I encountered my first beaver dam of the trip. Nothing a double plate couldn't handle. Then it was on to the 985 meter portage, which I had to walk three times because I had to do a double carry. 985 to Club Lake. I'll be double portaging it again. See you on the other side. Probably can't see too well, but round two. Carried the bags back for the canoe. The first part has a little bit of uphill. But after you get by that, it's very flat. The new rest station at the top of the hill. We don't need that just yet. Carry on. It's like parts of a old trailer or something. Wagon, wouldn't be a trailer. Wagon, I guess, I don't know. Grab a snack along the way. Raspberries, as long as there's no bears in mind. Filled up, and we're almost there. Club Lake. That wasn't so bad. At the end of the portage, I came across some building remains to explore. It used to be an old lumber mill. All right, on Club Lake, and to Mouse. Say goodbye to the neighbors. Mouse Portage officially cleared and open. Thank you, park staff.
That's nice. This, not so much. We put in some work to get here. Let's see what it's like. There she is. What a sight. What a sight. Home for tonight. After an exhausting day, I made it to my campsite on the south end of Mouse Lake. Prepared my own dehydrated lasagna and applesauce for dinner. And that puts an end to a busy day. See you tomorrow. Morning guys, so that was my two rope bear hang. So if you come to this campsite, just let you know in the evening, the mosquitoes really come out and you'll hear the bullfrogs all night. So today I'm making my way to Water Clear Lake. And in order to get there, I have to go back the same route that I came. So I'm gonna pack up my gear, have some breakfast. The water is dead calm, should be a good day. And since I came the same way, you've seen all that footage already before, so I'm probably not gonna film. Now, I'll see you at Water Clear Lake, campsite number three. Everything was good until I got to Water Clear Lake and then the skies just opened up and started to pour down on me. I got to the lake, I unloaded everything from the canoe and just piled it up on shore and tried to assemble a small little tarp so I could put everything underneath. See, I told you I wasn't gonna film much. Looks like it's gonna be a rain day. Had a few snacks for lunch while I waited out the rain. Even with the rain, I couldn't resist trying to take a few casts off the front of the shoreline. I was pretty much confined under the tarp for six hours as the rain didn't ease up at all. I was able to do what I could. Uh, I was able to rehydrate my dinner. It was a perfect day for chili. Still raining, time to make dinner. Today is the perfect day for chili. The tent is still soaked from setting it up in the rain. Kind of have like a, a gear bomb here just waiting for it to dry out before I bring everything in. The rain started at 12 and has been consistent the whole time. Now it is 4.30. So it hasn't let up at all. Everything is soaked.
chili. And dessert on top. Perfect. Yesterday I was on a beach eating dinner. Today, sitting under a, under a tarp soaking in rain. But that's all right. Seems like it might finally be stopping now. It's six o'clock. 8 o'clock before the rain finally stopped and the water was perfectly calm. I figured I'd try and get out. Good morning guys. Moving day again. Hopefully the weather turns out to be a little better than yesterday. Looks like it might be a GoPro day. This lens is completely fogged up. It continued to rain on and off all night and today I have my longest portages ahead of me. I'm heading back to Kiosh Lake. And with all this rain, everything is soaking wet, so I'm probably carrying around an extra 10 pounds of water weight. This lake has three campsites on it, and I was the only one on the lake. I had the whole lake to myself. It was completely quiet. This lake is fittingly named Water Clear Lake, and you can see why. Water straight from the lake is comparable to Opiongo. Perfectly clear, just like it came out of your tap. And that's it for this campsite. Off too. Campsite number four. You see it? Just an easy 300 meters to go and we'll be a little mink. This one should be easy. Yeah, that 300 is actually 1300 times three. So I'm walking 3,900 meters. And this one is like a portage obstacle course. First up, how low can you go? Perfect, no problem. Yeah, it's actually much easier to uh, carry the pack and canoe. That other backpack, I broke the, broke the hip strap yesterday. So no way to support it by my hip. Portage hurdle number two. Cable. Next obstacle, the hurdles. Nah, it's portage rest. Put your canoe up there if you want to take a break. We're continuing on. When portage, I always bring this little bag with me, which I got uh, a while ago in Thailand, doing an elephant safari. Inside the bag, just in case for emergencies, this is my bear spray. I've never had to use it. I've never encountered a bear, but just to be safe. There's 
just halfway. I stopped. Came back, got the canoe. Let's finish it up. And now back at Little Mink. This is where it started to rain and we got caught in that rain and Shawshanked it up over here. So you've seen most of this. Now, paddle across Little Mink and we'll back be at our last portage, but you've seen that one as well, so I probably won't film that. Got something on the line. I think it's a bass. He's fighting pretty good. I see him, looks like a small mouse. Why didn't you guys tell me I dropped my net? I wonder if that floats. <laughs> I wonder if I 
wonder I couldn't find it. On Kiosk Lake, I was able to find a campsite just on the other side of the railroad tracks. As soon as I got here, I did a gear bomb so I could try and dry some stuff out. Started to rehydrate my, my dinner for the night. There's three loons out here that uh, not making the traditional loon call. Looks like two of them are training the other, the youngster, how to fish. And uh, making a different kind of call, like a yelp kind of. Sit here and watch these guys, they're just swimming back and forth. For my whole trip, this is all the garbage I ended up with. One large Ziploc bag, I'd say that's pretty good. Tomorrow all I have is a short paddle back to the kiosk campsite where my car is parked, and then back to Algonquin Outfitters to return the canoe. I decided to make it this way so that I could rest up after my travel day and I didn't have to worry about rushing home while I was tired. So now I can get a good night's sleep here and then I'll be able to head home. Looks like that's going to be it for today. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the short paddle out. Morning guys, I just broke camp, it's the last day. The water is perfectly calm, too bad I'm leaving. I'm just coming up to the one mile bridge and then it'll be a short paddle back to kiosk where I pick up my car. You guys hear that? He's eating a frog. Look, the frog is crying. He's got the frog. That's the dinner, our breakfast. That's excitement for today. Coming up to the kiosk campground, if you like this kind of content, remember to like or subscribe. This trip was similar to the one I had last time where I battled some weather, got a nice bass, and now it's coming to an end. So, looks like I'm going to sign off here. This is Jay's way to remind you to get outside and explore. Take care.
those mosquitoes. I went under the bridge and my camera fell, fell off just as I went under. I wonder what kind of shot that's going to be. All right, now for this part, let's check the footage. One for the bloopers. Yep. Come on, camera's rolling. Time to shine. These pack bolts are so light, even a child could lift them. One handed, that's all I do. Okay, maybe not one handed, but yeah. It is a super late. Jay's Way, everything to do with camping, fishing, canoeing, and unfortunately portaging too.